Welcome back to another edition of the Keto Journey. My name is Jermaine. Today is the start of week four. I just ended week three, and so far, so good. Still trucking along, still doing what I need to to drop this weight. And uh, this week, I actually ended up counting my calories and watching for real what I ate. Um, the first two weeks was just cut the carbs. This week was more count the calories in my fitness pal. Um, make sure I was hitting all my ratios. I adjusted my macros to be 75% fat, uh, 5% carbohydrates, and then 20% protein. Reason being is I also, this week, just started going back to the gym. Um, it's the first time in huh, almost a year, I think. I think I stopped going to the gym last September when I got a new job. Uh, I have no idea why that happened, but I'm fixing that this week um so i'll be going to the gym at least twice a week i also started back my 5k um little training regimen that i made up for myself um the reason i stopped doing that is because i thought because i was on this diet that i was gonna have the strength or the energy to actually run but week three and i knocked out three miles faster than i've done in the past for not running for let's say probably three weeks, four weeks. Um, I have a 5K, me, Gracie, my brother, his girlfriend. We're all going to be running the Great American Bacon Race this Saturday. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, Bacon Race. But we did it last year, uh, me and Gracie, and it was pretty fun. Um, it's not your typical 5K because there's bacon at every water station, which, I mean... It sounds awesome, but we did not eat bacon during our run because the last thing you want to do is put salty meats in your mouth when you're running a 5K. This week also led us to Whole Foods. Um, maybe you heard of Whole Foods. This is a grocery store that sells, yeah, Whole Foods. I mean, when you think about Whole Foods, you think, oh, it's healthy, it's organic. Uh, I can eat anything I want in there, which is not true at all. There's a lot of stuff that is, I mean, it depends on what diet you're doing. If you're doing a low-carb, high-fat diet, there's a lot of things at Whole Foods that you want to avoid. Going in, I didn't have that mentality. I was like, oh, we're at Whole Foods. I could probably eat anything I want in here. Again, with having this new mentality for food, using it as fuel instead of just comfort, um, I started looking at the nutritional values, the facts on pretty much everything I immediately gravitated towards I looked and yeah there's a lot of stuff I can't eat you'd be surprised how many sugars and carbohydrates are in fruit juice so yeah the trip to Whole Foods was fun um, we didn't get anything we did go there for specifically to pick up this ice cream it's called Halo Top ice cream I believe it has like 240 to 280 calories very low on sugars very low on carbohydrates because I was missing ice cream I enjoy ice cream um, you can get it by the pint. I think it was maybe four ninety nine. You can only pick it up in specialty stores. That's the reason why we went to Whole Foods in the first place. And I gotta say, it was it was pretty tasty for what it was. To be missing all the sugars and the fats and the calories, it was not that bad. Now, usually when I get a pint of ice cream, specifically half baked from Ben and Jerry's, I eat the entire pint. Like I get it, I open it up put on a movie and by the time that movie's over that pint is gone this time yesterday i ate half a pint of ice cream and after i was done with it i was satisfied i didn't feel like i was gonna throw up because i ate too much i didn't feel shameful because i ate all of that pint of ice cream and i got to enjoy the rest of my night so with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this week's numbers last week we had a starting weight of 297.4 this week, we ended up at 292.1 for a total of 5.3 for the week. And since I've started this new journey, I have lost 15.9 pounds in three weeks. So yeah, I'm down to 292.1. I'm glad because I thought I wasn't going to lose any weight at all. I don't know why this entire week I've been weighing myself and weighing myself and weighing myself multiple times a day. As soon as I drink some water, I go weigh myself. As soon as I eat, I go weigh myself. As soon as I go poop, I go weigh myself. It was crazy. Like, every morning, I was driving Gracie crazy. She was like, hey, how about you not weigh yourself? How about that? And I was like, ha. 
no, I'm going to weigh myself. Okay, I got it. So I was, let's see, up till Thursday, I was freaking out. But turns out I've been doing something right. So I'm down to 292.1. Like I said, I'm not going back over 300. I'm about to hit the 80s. Haven't been there in about a year. And uh, we'll see where we go from here. With that being said, thank you for tuning in. I haven't did this yet, but if you like the content that you're seeing, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. Let me know what you would like to see in these videos. And also, every week we're going to put up a video, so you might as well subscribe so you can get those alerts anytime I put a video up. Have a good week. Watch what you put in your mouth. And get keto or die trying.